The reason for the travel is to explore the planet, uncover diverse cultures of other people, but most important, discover ourselves. This is Around the Globe. So I met this fellow Brazilian guy and he wanted me to teach him some Finnish, so I did. Uh, how do you say in Finnish, hello? Turko van soi persi reika. Michael Jackson. 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 So since we're in Rio today, we came to see the Christ statue. Um, the statue is actually on the top of a mountain which is 710 meters tall and the statue itself is 38 meters tall. So it's fairly huge statue uh, and you can see it almost everywhere in Rio which makes it really cool, you know. Wherever you go in here, you basically can see the Christ statue. And during the night when it gets dark, they actually light up the statue with some spotlights so you can actually see it even during the night. It's a pretty amazing statue to be honest and we want to go there definitely because it's in our intro as well. So we are right now on our way to see the Christ. Like I've said before, in every country we want to taste the most traditional food. So now in Brazil uh, we found this thing called feijoada, which is considered to be the most traditional food, at least here in Rio. So uh, it is made out of uh, rice, black beans, pork, uh, other meats, and apparently we have some oranges as well. So um, it's a mixture of a lot of things. I don't even know what this thing is called in, in English, but um, yeah, there's a lot of different flavors definitely. So we were told that we should definitely have the Feshuan experience in this specific restaurant. So here we go. So it looks like we have a sausage made out of pork, black beans, rice, salad. So now I understand why we were told to go easy with this food at first because 
this has a lot of flavors. I mean, this is um, this has a lot of flavors. I mean, the sausage and the seasoning it has, um, it's it's very strong. I mean, for Europeans and from people from Finland, definitely this might be too much for their stomachs. So, yeah, now I understand why they told us to just go easy at first and just to feel, just to feel the food because. I mean, I, I understand it's not that strong for locals, but people from Finland, this is um, it's, it might be a shock for you. But it's very tender and delicious. Mm -hmm. This is very good. The meat, the meat has a lot of taste. So today we are exploring Santa Teresa, which is an uh, old neighborhood. It was originally built in 1750s and it has a very unique Portuguese style uh, architecture here because, well, you can see it from the buildings all around us. Uh, the streets are pretty narrow, there's a lot of paintings all over the walls, and all the buildings are very multicolor. You can see yellow, pink, black, red, blue. Uh, it uh, looks like a rainbow street pretty much It looks like a pretty unique place here in Rio comparing the other places. I mean we have been in Rio For almost five weeks now Because this is such a vast city. There's so many things to see I mean you just go to another place and and it feels like you're in a total new city. So Santa Teresa seems to be very famous people uh, for tourists. I mean a lot of people from Europe is seems to be here because well uh, it's safe it's a very safe place and it has a pretty cool art history as well I mean there's a lot of artists and different kinds of parts here there's a lot of museums as well and very good local food as we had the Peixuara which was actually uh, very fascinating for us because um, there were so many different meats and flavors in one plate uh, Let's hope our stomachs can handle it though. One of the biggest art forms here in Santa Teresa has to be the Celarian Steps, which is the world famous steps here in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. These steps are actually built by a Chilean guy and it took him 23 years to build these steps. People from all over the world, over 60 countries, brought tiles here for the guy to build it up. As the project moved along, he became world famous and this is one of the most Brazilian things here in Rio because the guy from Chile actually built these steps for Brazilian people and it made it in honor of Brazil. So um, it's an extremely beautiful art form and you can actually see a lot of people coming here and just to feel the vibe of the steps and the Brazilian culture. It's an amazing experience. having a vacation day so we are traveling all around Rio to experience and seeing different kind of sightseeing. Now we came to Agua Rio to see some sharks and deep ocean fishes. Uh, next up we're going downtown in Rio. I do not know if we're gonna pull up the camera over there because it's kind of dangerous. People rob other people a lot there. We're traveling all around Rio today just to see different areas and really feeling the urbans of Rio.
Yeah. Timo, do you shame on me if I buy this for Jim? I would be extremely ashamed of you. Not really. It's kind of cute. It's kind of cool. Yeah, it is. exploring Rio right now, the center of Rio, downtown. Um, uh, we were looking from Google Maps to find out some good restaurants, but <laughs> Google Maps fucked us once again. I mean, just look at the view. This is a place where there should be a lot of restaurants, but man, this is a ghost town. This is, a, this is nowhere. And actually, there's, a, there's some dangerous looking people here as well. So I think we gotta get going in some different way. Let's go. <laughs> This best, one. It's best. Okay. This, this, this. You can choose. Okay, I'm gonna. This is salted, yes? Yeah, salt. What? It's, it's the middle of the palmiere, the, the palms. It's the middle. Middle the, of the palms? Yeah. The middle of the. the um, even the name is Royal Palm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, so it's like a Brazilian vegetable. Made out of tree, used for cooking, but it's good as it is, just like yeah. this. Open and eat. Yeah. Oh, lime. The best. Uh -huh. but we need to it's have... only in Brazil. It's um, guava. It's a uh, guava. Guava, do you know guava? No. I I know. Know. Oh, it's a, uh, it's a fruit, yes. Yeah, it's a fruit. Okay, I know it, I know it, yes. So, if somebody over there ever sees this candy, he has to try it because it's uh, kind of like a... It tastes like sneakers without the chocolate part, but it's even better. Or if you like Reese's peanut butter cups, then you're gonna love this one. I had four of these and I just had to come in a supermarket and buy two bucks full of those because these are just amazing. I'm gonna go nuts on these ones. It's a jelly from uh, a part of the cow. Cow? Yeah, it's sweet. Okay. But it's a amazing delicious. Flavor of raspberry, okay. it's the best. Okay. Um, Bring, bring one to taste. Okay. It's solid. You can cut and eat with a spoon. Yeah. Or I, I'm a monster. Okay. <laughs> As I've said it before, when we travel, we want to taste all kinds of different foods and especially the local foods. Um, today we are not able to eat something very local, but I found something very interesting in the menu. For example, these chicken hearts with onion. Uh, I don't know if the onion is going to make it any more delicious as it sounds. Never eaten. I never ate chicken heart before, so. I mean, it, it can be delicious, but let's see what happens. Actually, it tastes a little bit the same as snails. So if you enjoy eating snails with garlic or whatever um, it's a little more tender I think it tastes like chick uh, it tastes like snail but a little meatier version if I may say so um, it's not that bad actually it's, uh, if you forget that it's hard you're gonna like this okay it's okay uh, we just took a huge uh, meat mix with um, chicken hearts Sausage, chicken, 
and then we got some rice, uh, but that's fritters, which is like a French fries, basically. And then we have something extremely weird combo, which is deep fried banana with bacon. I understand if you eat deep fried banana with ice cream, but with bacon, come on. It's kind of like a sweet and salty at the same time. Two unhealthy foods mixed together. Yeah, it's all right. How do you say? Turco. One. Turco one. Suomen. Suomen. Persin reika. Persin reika. Okay. Before I say this, I will say, how do you say hello in Finland? And then. Turco one. Suomen. Persin reika. Persin reika. Why do you say Persin reika? Persin reika. Persin. Reika. And it's good to say Turku on Suomen Persian Reika. Turku on Suomen Persian Reika. Yeah, that's not, that's not. Say, so how do you say hello in Finnish? Turku on. Come on, you. to see Walter's journey in the bodybuilding competition, please follow him right here. Thank you. So